Despite a lot of eye candy, our sun is underperforming this week. As we take a look at our Earth-facing disk, the first thing your eyes are drawn to is that massive coronal hole in the south. This coronal hole has been rotating in through the Earth's strike zone, and it's supposed to be sending us some fast solar wind, but it looks like most of that solar wind has been going southward of Earth. So sadly, we have not been bumped up to storm levels, nor have we seen aurora drop to mid-latitudes. It's been staying pretty much at high latitudes, and that's the way it's going to continue, probably for the rest of the transit of this coronal hole. But meanwhile, as the sun tries to make up for that, you can see back on the 19th, region 3150 fires a really nice large solar flare with a, a small radio blackout, and that seems to trigger a big filament eruption that we've got on the eastern side of the sun, and then that seems to trigger even a larger solar flare from region 3150 with a gorgeous blast wave. You can watch it ripple almost to mid-disc, and that that seems to that blast wave seems to trigger yet another eruption from from a region around center disk and so it's almost like watching a ping pong match you're going left right left right back and forth sadly though all of the solar storms that have been erupting are either going north of earth or west of Earth. In fact, we even have some filament eruptions that have been occurring in the south, and those are going south of Earth. So it's like we need to get the sun a pair of glasses or something, because nothing seems to be Earth-directed despite a ton of things to look at. And even though we have some new regions rotating into view as region 3150 does leave uh, Earth-facing disk, these regions are not going to be big flare players. At least it doesn't look like that that's going to be the case. So we don't have any more risk for radio blackouts. How However, we do have the solar flux that's going to remain boosted, so at least amateur radio operators, you're going to be able to have uh, some decent radio propagation continuing on Earth's day side. For more details on this week's space weather, including how all this activity might affect you, come check out my channel or see me at spaceweatherwoman.com.